what's up? Tyler, Pin Drop Discussions. Awkward Fitness, The Sheep's Pin. So, I just left the gym, and I just had this thought. I was like, you know, like, after the gym, I actually, rewind, I want to give thanks to Yeshua, Emmanuel, for um, just life and the pursuit of this is just the pursuit of life. All right, so I'm going to talk about two things. That is everything. Um, so here's the here's the second thing. The second thing is I felt like I needed to upgrade my belt, right? My um, weightlifting belt. Right now, I have a... What belt is this? This is a... Dang, I forgot what this belt is. Genuine leather large um dang i forgot the name of the belt so i've had it for two years now or a year and some change so i'm like okay it's time to upgrade my belt right so i'm like yo this is kind of like fantasy role player except this is my real life and as i was leaving the gym you know i was like i did some cardio and the cardio that i did really um helped me feel like the supplements that i was taking weren't overworking my heart and I was like, you know, the body will really, it works as a social system. And the main goal of the body is to keep us alive. And if the main goal of the body is to keep us alive, the very first thing that it's the very priority of the body is to protect the heart and to, you know, make sure the heart has everything that it needs to function, you know, optimally. Like, you know, your brain will give out before your heart does, your liver, your kidneys, all of these things will give out before your heart does. Because it literally is trying, the body will try to do everything it can to keep the heart alive. So, my thought process was, you know what? Cardio is not my favorite thing, but it probably needs to be my priority. <laughs> like, because I know it's like gains and like, you know, you kind of lose gains when you um, do cardio. Um, because it's literally cutting down, you know, body fat. So you have to work almost twice as hard to keep your strength if you're doing cardio. Because if you don't do cardio, it's like you just become strong. Well, you become powerful, but you don't become strong. I think strength is um, the force that you're able to apply over time. Power is the strength that you're able to apply in short bursts. And, you know, I was working out the other day at, on base and you know, I had somebody approach me and they're like, Dang, you you like you've been you've been putting in that work. You you feel like you're okay and I was like, Well the difference here's the difference is that you know, just because I'm able to lift like heavier than what you perceive me to be able to lift doesn't necessarily equate to strength because you know, it's like I was still walking with a cane and you know, it's like, Why are you walking with a cane if you you know, you if you're lifting what you're lifting? And I'm like, well, because over a period of time, my body still gives out. So I'm able to lift these things in quick, short bursts, but I still have to build that strength. So a part of, you know, physical therapy is like rebuilding strength. So um, specifically, you know, it's like one of my quads is weaker than the other one. If the quad is weak, then technically, you know, that the lower posterior chain, like your, well, my posterior chain is compromised. So the knee might be stable, but the body will compromise because it's trying to, um, basically it, it's trying to, uh, I can't even think of the word right now, but, uh, compensate. It's trying to compensate for the weakness in the other side. So, you know, it's like really one side is just pulling heavier than the other one, but you know, because I feel like power doesn't necessarily just drop over a period of time. What happens is is that my body was familiar with what I was able to do before and the energy the energy output that I was able to produce before. So it's still used to producing that. It's just that I have a weakness that I have to account for. So it's like while it may look like my strength is continually to is continuing to grow, I still have a weakness. Wow, that is never mind, I'm not even Nope. Don't <laughs> don't 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 I'm talking to myself. I'm telling myself not to go into a different um, area that I have no expertise in whatsoever. So if you heard something in that, you heard something. I'm going to keep pushing. So 
you know, as I was talking about earlier, I was just like, you know, I want to get um, an upgrade on my belt. I think I paid like $60 for this belt that I have. Um, bought a couple of supplements. Um, I bought a bunch of milk um, so that I'm able to continue drinking my protein shakes. So I'm like, okay, you know, I've got to upgrade this. I've got to upgrade that. Like, man, it is, this is better than playing you know, I was playing a video game where it was like, I need to upgrade this, upgrade this, and I'm paying money for this, I'm paying money for this. But this is like, this is my real life. Like, whereas before, you know, I was like upgrading stuff that literally was like going to disappear. But now it's like I'm upgrading myself. I'm looking at my delts. I'm looking at my traps. I'm looking at my biceps. I'm like, okay, I need to tweak this and fix this here and do this here. I need to do more of these. And like, bro, this is literally like, it's just, it's now it's becoming fun for me. So, um... And I'm really not lifting heavy weights. Like, you know, there was a guy who came into the gym the other day and he sat on the bench next to me. And, you know, I did like, he started lifting like 345, whereas I was finishing my set at, I think it was like, um, it was pretty low. I'm going to just leave it at that. It was pretty low. So, he, I was just like, yo, I had to nod my head and keep doing my thing. And I think where most people, um, that I've seen on like Instagram, um, one of the guys that I follow, Joey Swole, like he'll repost these videos, um, that people post in the gym and they'll be like, oh, basically like trying to embarrass people that go to the gym. And I was in the gym tonight and I was just thinking like, we kind of need that, like that push, you know, like. And I think some people, they got bullied or they were small or skinny or fat, you know, and they're going through their body transformation and they're happy where they're at. They kind of, like, it gets to a point where you kind of need that arch nemesis. So, you know, you pick somebody in the gym and they become your arch nemesis for the the gym day or whatever. And, you know, one of the guys on Joey Swole's video was like, he was lifting a whole stack of lat pull downs, which is not easy. (laughs) And, you know, the the kid um, that was lifting across from him, because most of the time his lat pull downs are going to be in a, um, like in a circuit or in a station. And I think God was doing like rope pull down, tricep rope pull down, like right beside him. And he felt like he made him leave. And maybe because he was slamming the weights or it might have been because he was, you know, perceivably stronger than he was. And, you know, I was like, I feel both parties you know like you kind of need that you kind of need to feel like yeah I'm killing it I'm killing it but you know you don't want to make somebody else feel like they shouldn't be there and I think sometimes I have a hard time um with doing that because you know I'll stop and look in the mirror because I'm like oh am I you know is my gains coming is my gains coming I can see people like looking at me and sometimes they'll come up and be like dang bro you looking big I'm like no I'm not (laughs) but um you know, it's like, I get it. And as the kid, you know, just trying to grow, like, maybe he doesn't even know what he's doing. Maybe he just came to the gym because he's like, I see people going to the gym and I'm going to just go and try. And now it's kind of like you become that person that bullied you or you you become that person that's now, like, discouraging somebody from, you know, continuing on their body transformation. And that can be just very disheartening, especially in the gym community and the fitness community where it feels like, you know, we applaud growth. So why is it that, you know, people feel comfortable just discouraging other people in that way to say like, oh, I'm stronger than you or whatever. Like, or you could be on anything. (laughs) You know what I mean? Like this kid could have not found his rhythm, his groove yet. And by the time he does, you know, you you could sustain an injury or something like that. And you come back and he's, you know, bigger than you. And it, you know, stuff like that happens all the time. You never know. Um, and I hope that injury doesn't happen to anybody because injuries suck. Recovery is not fun. Having weaknesses and imbalances are not fun because correction takes correction takes a long time, to be honest. Um, physical therapy takes a long time. And, you know, I've been in physical therapy for, what, like three years now. And I, you know, some people say, like, it doesn't work or whatever. And I feel like it does and it doesn't like the part that doesn't work is the expectation that you know it'll go back to being 100 percent, or the expectation that whatever activity 
level, you know, we were at before, you go back to that level. Like, I think my mindset has now become functioning at whatever level that I have now. That is my new 100%. So, you know, like, when somebody asks me, like, how do I feel? You know, I'm just like, I feel like 100% of 20% or 100% of 60% or 100% of 80%. And it's like, your numbers need to be, like, one of my doctors is like, oh, your numbers need to be going up. And I'm like, I, yeah, I feel it. But, I mean, I can't say that I'm improving just to make other people feel good, especially if, you know, it's like I want to be real with myself. Like, because uh, if I'm not being real with myself, then I'm not able to actually get to that level that I want to be at, you know, so um, ultimately, I think, I think life is really great right now, man, I think, like, this is really making me happy, like, I feel like I found what I want to do, and just how I want to do it, um, man, it's, it's great, life is great, especially, like, <laughs> I tell you, like, a couple of months ago when I was, well, January of last year, or this year, when I was looking in the mirror, and I was, like, 164 pounds, you know, I'm just like, yo, this is not me, this is not who I am, like, I was down at, like, my high school weight, you know what I mean, so, I feel great, I feel great, I feel like, I feel great, and I don't want to come down, and I will not let somebody bring me down, period. I don't care who it is. Like, I'm not, just, no. You want to be down, you operate down there, but you don't try to bring me down to your level because I'm not coming down. <laughs> like, you can stay down there. I'm not. I'll see you when you get up here because, no. uh uh-uh. Can't do it. You don't want to better yourself. You don't want to, no, 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 no. No, the gym does make you better, period. I understand that people, you know, you got to have a job, you got to work, you got to be a productive member of society. The gym makes you better. Because the gym is the one place where it's like, you can't fake it. Like, if you go in there, like, listen to me. I remember when I first started going to the gym, and I started just doing bicep curls with the dumbbells. I was like, oh, 10 pounds, easy. Overhead press, 10 pounds, easy. Then I started trying to do like 20, 30. I think I told this story before when I got the ceremonial guard. Like, I was trying to do like 45s on the dumbbells because I seen somebody else doing it. When I tell you, my shoulder was just like, like it got to the point so bad. It was like, you know what? You might need a shoulder, you might need a shoulder surgery. <laughs> so, you know, doing exercises to the point where you just feel like you're doing something is not going to actually produce the result that you want outside of pain. Like, I feel great. You know, I don't go in there and try to lift, like, everything. I go in there and lift what I can when my body starts to get to that point where I'm like, oh, this is... But you have to to know what pain is in order to know what your limit is. So you kind of have to push yourself to the point of pain so that you can know, you know, like, okay... I got to stop because on the bench press, I don't have to have a spotter because like I know exactly how my arms feel when I'm at the top of my rep. Like if I can do another one, you know, I know how my arms feel when I'm at the bottom of my rep. If I can do another one, you know, on certain exercises, it's like, okay, I got it today. Cool. I don't got it today. Cool. Live to fight another day. In the words of uh, what's his name? John Witherspoon. But yeah, go to the gym. Everybody go to the gym. Like, don't just... Um, I was listening to um, Starting Strength and uh, I think Practical Program, Practical Programming or something like that, whatever the book is that I posted on my Instagram. And the guy was like, it's the difference between physical exercise and training. And it is or physical activity, exercise, and training. Physical activity is walking. So walking is good, but you need to, like, walking does not classify as exercise. Walking classifies as physical activity. So for people that are doing, you know, like, walking, it's like, yes, that's good to get you to exercise, 
because exercise requires an amount of physical activity to get your heart rate to a level that now you're pressing now your bone like everything has to operate physical exercise doesn't require or physical activity doesn't require you to really do anything outside of just move so i am encouraging you to go exercise enjoy your day peace